The time has come and with the new season we have more insane scenes where Yujiro goes wild. There are more Ogre Savage moments on my channel from each season, you can check them if you're interested in such stuff. Yujiro is the primary antagonist of the entire Baki franchise and the strongest character in the entire series thus far. He works as a highly paid freelance mercenary and assassin for various governments and organizations, being a pain in the ass for the rest of the characters at the same time. As he is the strongest, most fierce, most arrogant man who shows no mercy towards anybody, every his appearance on the screen is full of testosterone and epic. His whole life and mindset are dedicated to nothing but fighting and growing stronger with each person he defeats, sometimes killing them. He tends to kill people if pushed or enraged enough and does not show care or remorse when doing so. He will also kill for pleasure or satisfaction when he feels like it. As a result of Yujiro's inhumanly high testosterone level, higher than that of any creature on Earth along with an extension of his arrogance, has made scientists believe that Yujiro thinks of himself as the only truly male specimen in the world and view everyone else as a woman or wimps who are under the thumb of his dominance, no matter whether they are young, old or biologically male or female, they're all equally beneath him in his view. So this season is not an exception and Yujiro will once again show everyone his dominance even though he had not been in a fight this time. Enough! Yujiro appeared for the first time in this season at the guarded military facility where Pickle was brought, surely to test the might of this new 190 million years old creature. At the time when Retsu and others were sneaking their way through the guards hiding in the shadows, Ultra Male comes to the front gate. After being stopped by the guards, Yujiro activates his frightening aura, making three armed big dudes fight each other. As Yujiro said after stopping them, it was only one way for them to survive, if they tried to attack him they'll all be dead. Even if one of them does not fight against each other, they'll also all be dead in an instant. So they make only one right decision, to beat each other badly and get his approval. And after all they get it, Yujiro forgive them. You're all forgiven. And I'll never forget those guards expressions when he said that. It was like they were relieved. I mean, you could tell they were practically thankful even though all three of those guys were beat to a pulp. It's funny that there were three of them and one dude had no one to fight against, so he goes full narrator mode from the fight club and beats his own ass up. Truly an epic moment that shows how dominant Yujiro is in front of casual people even though there were trained and armed guards. Later Yujiro gets to Pickle's apartment, which is simply a big square of bulletproof glass. He met all of the main cast of the series and decided that he will be the one who will test Pickle first, even though he was the last one to arrive. And after deeply insulting poor Bandana Boy... You figure if you can just avoid getting killed, somebody will save your sorry ass in the end. <laughs> He went to meet Pickle in a Yujiro manner, not using a key. This bulldozer squeezed his face and after his body through the bulletproof glass like it was some sort of packing tape in front of him, not a wall that even bullets can't penetrate. Also a sharp broken glass left no damage on his titanium body, only ripping his shirt off. Even his pants left entirely unsketched. But it would be cooler if he became completely naked standing against an also completely naked pickle and they'll start a pee, -pee sized duel in front of everyone. But his pants remained on him cause he is a hulk and his pants is a part of his body. Then he decided to test Pickle's strength by holding out a fist to him. But Pickle is not a joke and he withstood Yujiro's push, making the ogre to use Aiki on a caveman. But again, even though things went not as Yujiro planned, he was the first one to throw Pickle to the ground and this is insane. Look at that, a son of a 
bitch made me pull a move on him. But then Yujiro showed his soft side, and after being called out by the military dude, he agreed to live peacefully, but only if the others left with him and will not be touched. Such a nice guy. You let the other eight in there leave too. Huh? But what about all the damages? So you need a new fake dinosaur and some fresh paint on the walls. You know those guys didn't mean any harm. But hey, if that doesn't work for you, Commander... No, 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 no! That's not what I'm saying! Later, the machine was shown walking down the street, scaring people with his aura. Also a great way to demonstrate his power by showing that for normal people, Yujiro is horrendous even when he's just walking around them. After a walk, uh, he was invited by Dopo to have a drink in a bar. And once again, Yujiro is cool even when he does a simple things like drinking a glass of alcohol. Or smoking a cigarette. Also, the way he drinks scotch is also epic, he just breaks the bottle in half with his hand, drinking a liter of thousand dollar scotch like it was a beer. Later Yujiro was having dinner with Tokugawa and after a reasonable question which worried everyone who watched the new season why the ogre does not fight Pickle, he gets a bit mad breaking some stuff around him and leaving the place. Don't worry about Baki, he was born for this. The two of them were destined to fight. When it's over, I'll eat whoever's left standing. But he gave a good answer to that question after all. Bucky and Pickle were destined to fight each other and there is no need to be worried about his son. Looks like he wants to give Bucky a good lesson to make him stronger before their upcoming father and son fight. I think Yujiro could defeat Pickle whenever he wants to, but he wants his son to become stronger after fighting the most powerful opponent in his life, which makes him a pretty loving father in Bucky world terms. And finally, last but not least, Yujiro's theme in this season, the ogre meet the USA president. Even the US president admits that Yujiro is the most dangerous man in the world. So Hanma Yujiro is so badass that every president of America swears that will have an amicable relationship with him, will never interfere with his life and will always comply with his promise regardless of anything that happens. So simply Yujiro can do whatever he wants killing whoever he wants and taking whatever he wants in the USA and he will be good with that. What a man this Yujiro Halma. After that, the president wanted to test Ogre's might with a lump of coal. The theory says that a pressure of 100,000 atmospheres will transform coal into diamonds, which Yujiro does easily with his bare hand. not worth as much as a real one. Oh damn! Yes, you good! It was all of Yujiro's insane moment throughout the new season, sadly with no fights, but this dude can show how cool he is even without a fight. I hope this video was interesting to you, what is your favorite moment? Leave your comments down below, subscribe and leave a like. Thank you for watching, for today I'm out, bye! <laughs> Here. Yeah, this is crazy. Uh oh, here comes the crew.